YouTube. Uh, YouTuber, how's it going? It's Multiplier here. In this video today, I'm going to show you something called Loop Bazaar. Now, not bazaar like this, but bazaar like, or bazaar, 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 bazaar like this. I'm going to show you how I personally use it, and that will hopefully spark your imaginations up to give it a go yourself. As you'll see in this video, Loop Bazaar is free. You only pay for the samples and loops you actually end up using. And so let's dive straight in. Now there is a standalone version of Loop Bazaar, but I personally tend to use the plugin because then it syncs up with the project here. And for my personal workflow, it's just that little bit faster. So I'll go over to audio units. Uh, where's it gone, where's it gone? Beatcraft software, Loop Bazaar. Loop Bazaar, now how do I personally like to use this? Now, I like to use this as a way to get an initial idea going. So I like to find maybe two or three, normally only two or three, uh, two or three different ideas, loops, or normally loops. So I like to try and get two initial things going, two or three ideas that sound great together. I can then throw it into the project and then build up a track around it. So maybe, maybe just thinking out loud, thinking out loud, I'm in the mood for some, we'll go for analog, analog and house. Because See what happens. And you can see a whole bunch of loops. Take a note, you get more than just these guys here. You've got all these little numbers at the bottom. So pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and, and so many pages. In fact, way more pages than there should probably be some sort of like uh, thing to show you how many pages there are, but that's okay. Just know that when you first look at Loop Bazaar, there's way more samples than you first might initially think. What about 25? We'll go for 25. So do some sort of click, maybe a double click, and you can see it's now appeared in the top left corner. You can see some information on the right hand side too. It's from this pack called Deep Analog House by CR2, big fan. So I could hit play, uh, just to, you know, play, you know, button play. Oh, yeah, really important actually. Take note, when you're auditioning loops or samples here, you're hearing a lower quality. So what you have to do, for obvious reasons, what you have to do is when listening, almost imagine what it would sound like full quality. So it's really important to remember that this is a lower quality when you're just listening, auditioning it now. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Vibing, moody. Moody, moody emotions, emotions and, and things. That, that can be a song. Uh, I can call it emotions and things. Very, very, very dead, very, very dead mousey. Dead mice. Uh, anyway, uh, what I could then further do, shall I do this? Yeah, I, 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 yes, let's do it. Let's change the BPM, because we can. So what I can do is, and, 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 I, and I want it a bit slower, I think actually, that's giving me a down tempo vibes, down tempo vibes down tempo vibes. So I could hit loop, nice little loop button, lots of fun. And then notice as I change the project BPM, you can see this tempo is changing too. So I could maybe go for 100, 100, fantastic. So now as I hit play, oh, oh, this is important. Should have hit play in the project, should have hit play in the project. See, because it's, it's sync to the project. Therefore, if I had something else already, it would play it in time. But I personally like to use this to get that initial idea going. So I just have this so far. Slower. Note. You can even change the BPM while it's playing, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at 100. Yeah. Awesome. Step two, at least for my workflow. Now I want an additional idea to go with this. Now, because I'm feeling emotions and things, uh, that was the, the vibe I got, uh, down tempo, etc. I'm thinking I want some sort of beat in the background, maybe a hippity hop beat or just a, just a hip hop beat or just a, a beat of, of some kind. So what I could do is go to the search a bit up here, type in a word such as a beat. Right. And then maybe just cause I can maybe choose BPM. Um, what a, yeah, well, we'll go for 80 to 100. That's entirely okay. Awesome sources. And as you can see, many, many beats. Not again, not just the ones in this list, but all of these numbers are more and more pages. And from my experience, you pretty much know me at the end. At least I've got, I, I spent ages clicking and I, I couldn't find the end. So I think there's just, there's, there's, I didn't count them all up, but I reckon there's a bazillion samples. If I can find a more accurate number, they're probably actually adding in 
more all the time. So what I will do is if there is a, a rough guideline for how many samples or loops there are, I shall include it on the screen. But if not, I'll include some other words. Brilliant. Anyway, 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 cool. So what I could do is, now do I want a, a, a sexy action beat or B3 beat mix C or cash around beat or I'm your everything? That sounds more emotions and, 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 and things. What was the name of the song we're creating? Emotions and things. Emotions and, and things, something like that. Uh, so maybe this one, so do a, do a, do a, either click or drag. Notice you have all these different slots up here. Now this is the cool bit. One, one of the many cool bits actually. So notice, again, remember when you audition, it's in lower quality. So we'll have to, so actually what we could do is, I'll show, I'll, I'll show you that. I will unlock it and make it full quality in a sec. So first of all, I, I want to show you this cool thing. So you can, the reason there are multiple slots up here is you can audition multiple things at the same time to see if your ideas work together. And that's the workflow, more specifically the workflow that I like to use. So I'm trying to find two or three things that work well together. Again, you've got this fun little loop. It's a mad airplane. It's a jet engine outside. What? Peculiar. We'll ignore that. But I've lost track of what I was saying. Oh yeah, the, 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 the loop. So yes, you hit the loop again, so it syncs up and, and plays and loops through and stuff. And now if I say, oh, I could hit play. Awesome. And now if I bring in the other one, maybe I can bring the level down a touch. I can bring in the other one again. Do you notice what happened? Did you, did you know? In sync. So they're playing in sync with each other. So I don't, it's, it's, it's such an easy way to try ideas out. That's why I like it. And, I'm, it, I'm, and that's turned out brilliantly actually, isn't it? Look at that. Importantly, you do get these, as I think I just showed you, these level sliders. So you can balance it. That, that, that's too low of, and that's too high, etc. So you can sort of give it a rough balance to see if it, see if the ideas work together. And that is certainly, that's vibing. That is, that is, I can just imagine me walking, uh, Probably deep thoughts, walking at night time through a city, uh, looking at the world. Um, so many, so many vibes. Um, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking it. It's fantastic. We're gonna, awesome. We're gonna go for that. Yes, awesome. So now, now here's the next. Step. Now that I found something I like, a bit of something that I want to craft into a song. What I need to do is purchase it by hitting the little lock button. So uh, by, by, by the looks of things, the prices seem to be about one. I mean, all of these are, are $1. So you only have to pay for the ones you like. So I like these, so I'm going to hit purchase. Give it a click, give it a click. Notice now it's downloading the full, 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 full quality before it had a, some noise or bit crushing or something in the background. So in, well, yeah, I'll do this one too, naturally. Give it a sec, give it a sec. And in fact, maybe I could even show you the full quality inside of, of Loop the Bazaar. Much high quality. And then in sync, ready? I can click it whenever because it's in sync. Oh, the vibes. The vibes, the vibes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful feelings. So now I can do, now I've purchased it, unlocked it. I can do a drag and a drop, which is super cool. So um, do I want to use session view or arrangement view? We'll keep it simple for those maybe non Ableton peeps out there. Peeps being the shorter version of people. And I can, drag and drop into the project, easy peasy, lemon. Now, do I have the, oh, it's fine, uh, ignore that. Uh, I thought I changed the warp settings, which, which may have confused Ableton, but I didn't, so ignore all, all, all of those ramblings. So now I can click and drag, check this out. Do a click, do a click, do a click and a drag. Do a click, do a click, do a click and a drag. Dang. And there you go, and there you go. Now, this is dragged into the project, but remember, this is Ableton. In fact, you have to do this in every DAW. You need to check in Ableton the warp mode 
And in other DAWs, the time stretching algorithm in Ableton, the time stretching algorithms are called warp modes. Because remember that this and, and the initial loop was at 120 BPM. Editing, editing, 120 multipliers. Got a brilliant memory. Not really, more like a goldfish. Anyway, um, so yes, the this was in fact you can see on the, the the name of the all 120. I, I could have just showed you that. Commit commit to ideas. We've committed to these two. So the initial one was 120. So therefore, because we're actually at 100 BPM, what I need to do is double check the warp mode. Now, because of the, the notes involved and the vibes, uh, part of the emotion, the motion, e e emotion, uh, I need to choose a different one than repitch maybe. Because I am stretching this and I want to keep the tonal information, the, the notes effectively the same, the pitch, that's a much better word, the pitch, I want to keep the pitch the same while stretching it forwards or backwards, I need to choose a different warp mode not repitch. And I think either Complex or Complex Pro. Let's do... I will go for Complex Pro. I think I'd uh, not not too much in it in this case. Sometimes there is. Anyway, I uh, should show you the whole thing. We, we can do that. Command L to drop a loop and here we go. Deep thoughts. Walking about. And of course, all of this, I mean, I, I, could, I could do deep emotional thoughts all day long, um, but all of this is now ours, royalty free and, and all of that sort of fun stuff. Um, and in, in reality, it probably would have been even quicker if I wasn't jibber jabbering. Uh, but that is a little bit of what multiply is jibber jabber. Knowledge, jibber jabber. Knowledge, jibber jabber. That is the general workflow. I really like it. It's cool, right? It's a nice way. Let me let me do some uh, analysis insight. The reason why I like this is you can play around with ideas. You can you can just have a have a play, have a play, go through all the different genres. I mean, the samples and loops here across it. They are across every genre, all the styles from energetic to more chill, uh, from club focused to EDM, etc. So literally all the genres and stuff. Um, so that's why I like it. And you can just you can just have a bit of a play. You can try an idea, drop another idea over the top. You can play with ideas for free. And it's only when you definitely like something that you can then take it and actually pay for it. Unlike say buying a sample pack where you Buy the sample pack and hope that you like some of the sounds inside. Maybe you like it in the demo track, but you're not quite sure if that will work with the sound from over here. I like this because you can just try something until something gets you excited and then it's the yeah, price, price of a cup of coffee or something. Dep dep I suppose it depends how many layers you have. Maybe for two loops, small coffee, uh, slightly bigger loop, slightly bigger coffee. But yeah, that's just, that's just simple mathematics, all, all of which is a uh, Pretty cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this. It's, it's, it's a sort of guide introduction to Loop Bazaar. 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 It's probably Bazaar. Bazaar. Words aren't my strong suit. Look. As proof, just that words aren't my strong suit. Anyway, what I'm going to do is conclude. The, links below, etc. Naturally, do check it out. As I say, it's free to have a play. And what I'm going to do is finish this video by leaving the room. Leaving the room. Even uh, with some with the, with the, the vibes, and I'm gonna think think deep. To, can't can't think with it now in my, in my ears. Think deep thoughts. Leaving the room. My name's the Multiplier. I'll, I'll catch you guys on the. I remember from a, this is a to totally a tang tang off on a tangent, classic multiplier. I, I, I learned this from a TV documentary show once. Uh, if you want people to, in, in a, someone to look like they're thinking deep thoughts and you're an actor, you have to think about nothing. And then people, so I have the most neutral face possible. And then people uh, can, what's the word? Almost like transpose any emotion onto it. So if I have neutral face, that's not. Um, if I do just neutral face, maybe you will think I'm thinking deep thoughts and really just sort of uh, static white noise sort of going on in the, in the brain. So awesome. Flippity flip.